Mm. Good afternoon. It's pissing down again. It really is. You wouldn't believe it. There is just mist and drizzle. Um, we call it mizzle over here. So it's a bit... Ugh. Yeah, it's just another low pressure. And another one. And another one. And another one. It's just continually sweeping up from the southwest. We're not getting it too bad. I feel sorry for the people up around Manchester and upwards towards Scotland and Glasgow towards Aberdeen. They are really getting it hammered over the next couple of days. Another storm. storm. Every time I sit down to do one of these, it's like it's pissing down. At least this should be it now. The, the jet stream is moving finally and um, it's sort of going south so the low pressures will go underneath us. Bring warm air up from the Sahara. Yeah. Mmm. Lovely. Cat's got the zoomies, haven't you? Miserable bloody thing. It's sitting there, it's eating its dinner and then runs around frantically and then throws up all over the carpet. You think I'm joking? It really does. It is. Anyway. I was out... Um, walking the dog today, as we do every day. And uh, we went uh, along the byes, but towards Sid Ford. And uh, looking out over the hills, it is absolutely beautiful. The mist is just hovering over the hills. And um, I've got some right at the end of today's shoot. Yep, so when I say hi, good night. Oh, just a second. Wait. Yeah, a dog and a cat living together, it's not the best. Anyway, I'll put it on at the end and so you can have a look at it. Lovely. Right, so what's happening in your world? Hmm. Well, mine is, I'm looking forward to my, I'm going on holiday, yes! I have two days off. Well, actually Friday, Saturday, and then I'll come back Sunday. Peaceful, oh yeah. Still got to clean the toilet Sunday though, in the, in the community centre, but that's all right. Well, I just noticed something. No, nope, it's all right. So. <laughs> something falling off anyway so life is is okay so i'm gonna go about two o'clock half past two on tuesday heading southbound down the m5 looking forward to it very much mm. you have no idea this i have been looking forward to this for such a long time it's I can't really express it. It's just one of those things I just wanted to do for so long. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. So, been up to uh, up to uh, shopping today, and uh, yeah, nobody's bashed into me, kicked me, done anything. <laughs> no one's tried to mow me over. Do you remember that Monty Python thing about Reginald Mellish, when um, when nothing happened? <laughs> he looked around and quickly confirmed his suspicions. There was no head in a bag, no dismembered body of a man in his late 40s, nothing. Not a sausage. Well, that's what it's been like today. So it's been absolutely wonderful. Thoroughly enjoyable day. It's Wednesday. I don't normally, I'm recording this on Wednesdays and I don't really like Wednesdays. Wednesdays doesn't like me. But um, over the last, oh, cut my hair. I don't know if you noticed that last week, but it's shorter. Not, yeah, it's okay. Anyway, never mind. Yes, <laughs> I've been run over by a lawnmower. So yes, nothing has happened, nothing. Has, um, a few idiots on the road. We've got a big diversion up down, um, down the road. And so uh, people have been look. I told you last week, it's like going past the sign and it says road closure, road closed and nobody's taking a blind bit of notice and then suddenly having to turn around. And then they turn right and end up going round and round in circles because they can't get out. It's like a maze up there. Anyway, um, a few people have been complaining bitterly of the road being closed. Okay, schools are back on, on Monday. So we're on half term at the moment on Easter break. So the kids will be back at school and uh, of course, everyone comes down the road. So they're all having to go round this tiny little Bennett's Hill. Oh my God, there's going to be 
mayhem. <laughs> and they're complaining, oh, why do we have to have the road up? Uh, do you know that time when it floods and nobody can get down because the road has flooded? Well, that's why they're having to dig the road up, putting bigger drains in. <laughs> Let's do it when the folk festival's on. No one will know then. <laughs> um, Sidmouth Jazz and Blues Festival's coming up at the end of... Uh, when is it? Uh, end of May. Looking forward to that. Oh, yes, sir. Looking forward to the Blues Festival. Blues and Jazz. And there's lots of workshops as well. Lots of there's drumming and guitar and keyboard and jams and oh, just brilliant. This year it's not free. It's 20 quid for three days um, if you turn up. And I think it's those have gone, but it's still, I mean, it's not it's like four or five days, something like that. It goes on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so it's four days. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to that. No end. Last year, it was just brilliant. There was lots of things going on. Uh, lots of great bands. Cuban, funk, blues, jazz. Oh, just a weekend of slurping it up. And huh, yeah, you know the one I'm on about. Anyway, so just a second while I have another slurpette of this. Ooh. So welcome to Bob's Unscripted number 23, I think. Yeah, it's been doing this for 23 weeks. Actually longer because I missed a bit in Christmas time, so I couldn't be arsed. Right, so yeah, not a, not a long one today. Just to sort of say, hello, and I'm here, and I'm going on holiday. I'll give you a, a full update of when I get back. Of course I will. And I shall take my camera with me, and uh, we'll try and get some decent video of what's going on and who's doing what to whom, okay? Good, all right. But apart from that, yeah, it's... I'm looking forward to it. You know, sometimes you just got to get away. And it's today is one, well, this weekend is one of those. Uh, and I made a complete and utter uck up. I'm not using the F word, but I will put the UCK on. And I'm completely ucked it up. Um, one of the ladies who does yoga, who occasionally books the hall for a weekend or on a Saturday, booked the hall for this Saturday back in January and I didn't action it so when I came to my data base it were all empty like and uh, no she um well Bob yeah okay so that was it uh, I had to give her a set of keys and show her how to do the fob and the alarms but uh, she's all right Gavin will be in to lock it all up but it was I said oh no I can't go on holiday yeah yes you can so I explained to her very that it was completely my fault. And apart from a cock up in the administration department, i.e. me, that uh, we're, <laughs> and I was going on holiday, but no, no, there you go. Anyway, so I'm off to Salcombe, um, south east corner of Devon. Well, that's a bit lower down. So, yeah, sort of, yeah, sort of south Devon round a bit. If you've got Plymouth and it's sort of go east and you come to Salcombe, it's a lovely place. Roads are interesting. I shall try and post some, some video of the roads. Um, all you American people out there who, who think the roads are, well, huge. <laughs> these, these roads in Devon, in the country lanes, are no bigger than my car. And every so often you have little pull-in points. So if somebody comes along, you have they have to wait until you come in and then they go past you. It's like trains and, you know, loops and stuff. But it's really <laughs> crap. So you come hurtling down. And it's like, oh my God, another car. And then you've got to work out who's got the closest one. And you've always got some idiot there. He says, no, I'm not reversing. I've got a Mercedes. And so I say, well, I've actually got my own plane. So you back off. Yes, that happened once. It really did. Uh, up in North Holt. I'm not moving because I've got a Mercedes. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, the lanes are awful. I've got to try and post some footage. <laughs> footage. Footage of um, next week's trip down, and you'll see what I mean. All right, it is really manky with a capital M. So, everything's good in my world. 
everything's good. Nothing to report. Nothing's gone wrong. It's just one of those weeks where it's like, uh, blah, 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 what, what should I talk about? The cat's throwing up all over the floor. The dog's fighting the cat and the cat's fighting the dogs. The, the other day, um, the cat <laughs> went up to the dog and the, dog's, and the dog was going, and the cat went, <laughs> and ran off. Was, I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, um, Cheryl out there in Cheryl out there in the in Tennessee or comes from Tennessee or around that area, um, part Cherokee, I believe. Um, I think it's just Cherokee. She'll have to throw something at me if I'm wrong. Anyway, um, getting better. Little steps every day. So everyone who's been following me wants to know where Cheryl is. Cheryl, uh, she's doing fine. Getting better, I hope. So I haven't heard from her for a couple of days, but I have seen her posts. So I know she's getting better. Right, so this is to her. So everyone else, put your fingers in your ears. Cheryl, on your side, mate. Get better. Right, fingers out now. Good. Take your fingers out. Right, okay. I'm quite deaf, I've told you many times. And uh, one of the things people think is when they, when you say, I'm sorry, I can't hear you, they think it's stupid. Can you hear me now? Like, yes, I'm just deaf, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I write cryptographic software. What's the problem? Can you hear me? Like, talk about patronising. Yeah, you just want to... Yes, I'm deaf, that's all. I'll piss off. Anyway, so yeah, um, it's not nice. Um, people, if you've got a limb missing, um, something like that, you know, people can identify with it. But when you're deaf, uh, just... They just don't give a flying. Oh, it's the cat. All of a sudden, the, the curtains started moving around on its own, and it's like, got poltergeists. And I can't hear the bloody thing up there anyway. Little sod. Anyway, so that's it for today. I'm, uh, I'm not going to do much more. As I say, I'm getting ready to go. Um, on my trip on uh, Friday. I shall try and post some some footage and see how we go from there. Uh, gonna eat in a place called the Crab Shack, I believe it is. Um, Crab Shed, Crab Shack in Salcombe. And this is one of those restaurants where you have to give your credit card details before you get there. And if you don't turn up, they charge you 30 quid, which is fine, per person, which is fine. So. You booked it, you're coming. But it's one of those places where you have to be out by night because another sitting's coming in. Oh, yeah. You have to get out. Anyway, we can take the dog and that'll be nice. So little Luna will get some. You're not coming. Ha! Huh. Cat's staying here. Don't tell her, though. She'll only get upset. Right. And she's just zoomed out the door. So I'll let you know all about the Crab Shack. The Salcombe Harbour Hotel is where I'm going to stay. And I'll also tell you um, about the roads. Did you hear that? That was the cat. I think <laughs> I think there's a rocket up her bottom. <laughs> she just shot past me. Anyway, tally-ho. And uh, here's some footage that I took today. Missed over the hills or what? Tally-ho. Bye-bye.